Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 2021 and in this video I will show you top 10 tips and tricks to use this tablet. So guys, the first tip is related to the edge panel. So for example, you open some kind of app, uh, let's say you open the Samsung internet. So now you want to use another app, okay, or you want to open another app. What you can do is just drag out the side tray from here. So you can see over here, it's a side tray with different apps option, okay. So you can also have more option in this side tray or we also called it edge panel okay so you can see there are different options available so now for example i want to open uh, any app let's say i want to open uh, the samsung notes i just drag it and put it over here okay i drop it over here so now you can see i can use both apps okay so how to enable this edge panel okay so first of all you have to go into the settings Okay, so once you enter into the settings, you will see an option of display. So just select it and once you select it on the right side, you will see the options of edge panel. Okay, so you have to enable it. If it is disabled, you have to enable it. The second thing is um, related to the customization of edge panels. So how you can customize it. So just select it like that it will open the edge panel options okay so the first option is related to the panels okay so just select it and once you select it you have different options over here so as you can see i select all of them so it's up to you whichever you want for example if you don't want people uh, you don't want tools you don't want weather so you can select different options from here and then it will be showing over here on your side panel okay so for example uh, I go over here and then I drag out and you see the edge panel is over here okay the second tip is also related to the uh, multitasking and saving your favorite app combination okay so for example uh, I open like uh, for example again I will open the Samsung internet and then I will again drag out the edge panel and I open the Samsung notes okay so you can see over here i open two different apps now i want to save this combination okay so it will be easy for me whenever i want to open i just um, use this option so what you can do is just select these three dots okay and then in the middle you will see the option of plus okay so once i select it you will see the plus sign over here just select it okay and it will save your favorite app combination okay now what you can do is for example you are using your tablet and you want to open your favorite combination just drag out this tray and your favorite combination is over here you see on the last so i just select it okay and then it will automatically open my favorite combination i don't have to uh, do it again it's simply open in front of me and then i can use both of these apps the next step is related to the double tap to turn on or turn off the screen so for example now my tablet is off i just double tap it it will turn on the screen if i double tap again it will turn off the screen okay so you can see over here so how to enable this option okay so first of all you have to go to the settings okay once you enter into the settings on the left side you will see an option of advanced features okay so just select advanced features okay and once you select it you will uh, see on your right side the option of motions and gestures okay just select it okay and once you select it the very uh, first two options over here is showing you double tap to turn on the screen you have to enable it if it is disabled just turn it on and double tap to turn off the screen you have to enable this as well so uh, whenever uh, you you don't want to use your uh, tablet just double tap it will turn it off okay and double tap it will uh, turn it on so this is how you can use your tablet uh, the next tip is related to the dynamic wallpaper for lock screen so as you can see over here uh, when I turn on the tablet every time there is a new wallpaper appear okay so for example I do it again okay so you see every time there is a new wallpaper available okay 
okay so how to enable this option okay so you have to just again go to the settings okay okay so once you enter into the settings you see the wallpaper option over here so just select it and once you select it uh, you will see the option of wallpaper services okay the third option over here it says wallpaper services just select it and once you select it you see dynamic lock screen okay so if it is none you have to select the dynamic lock screen and then go to the settings okay and here it will show you different types of uh, images okay so for example uh, life uh, plants uh, landscapes okay food dogs cats so there are different options available so you can select any five of these so it will show you uh, those uh, specific uh, type of images or those specific type of wallpaper okay so for example currently i select the landscape plants life okay uh, uh, desserts and food so this type of wallpaper i select so it will show you only these types of wallpaper but whatever you want for example uh, i don't want these two i want cats okay so i just select it like this it will download and then for example i select the art okay and then it will show me these type of wallpaper okay so i just deselect them i remove it i remove this option so only now it will show me cats and art option okay i will show you and now once it download i will show you so now both are downloaded okay so for example i double tap to turn off the screen so you see it is now showing me uh, the wallpapers related to cats okay i double tap it okay related to art okay so like this so again it is showing me the wallpaper related to cat so this is how you can use this. the next tip is related to side key quick app option so for example you see this is the side key okay if i double tap it okay it will directly open my favorite app that i select for example i select uh, the samsung internet but you can change it for your favorite apps as well so what you have to do is you have to go into the settings okay and once you enter into the settings on your left side you will see an option of advanced features okay just select it okay and once you select it on uh, your um, right side you will see the option of side key okay so just select it okay and once you select it you will see the option of open app so currently you can see over here i select internet okay if you want to change you can just change it by going into the settings icon just select it okay and then you see there are different options available so you can select samsung notes you can select game launcher uh, you can select galaxy store whatever favorite your uh, your favorite app for example if you want to select youtube okay or you want to select for example netflix okay i select for example now netflix now what i can do is i just go back and when i double tap on this side uh, key it will open the netflix for me you can see over here so this is how it will work the next step is related to the touch sounds for example there are different uh, buttons like home button okay for example i press it you heard this sound okay okay so you see if you want to enable these kind of sounds okay so what you have to do is you have to go into the settings okay then go to the sounds okay and once you enter into the sounds you will uh, see an option of system sound okay just go into the system sound and once you enter into the system sound the very first option is related to the uh, touch interaction okay so you just have to enable it for screen lock for charging for dialing keypad for samsung keyboard as well so now for example i want to uh, use the uh, samsung keyboard okay i open it uh, okay uh, i just want to type something okay so you can see you can hear this song so if you uh, want you can enable it or if you don't want this type of sound you can simply disable it by using the same option the next step is related to make your screen items large so if you think that the the icons or the text of the icons are small you can make it bigger okay so simply go to the settings okay and then go to the display okay and once you enter into the display you will see an option of screen zoom okay so just uh, select this screen zoom option and then you see the option of uh, you can see over here there is a bar 
okay so you can see now it is currently big so for example i want to make it full size so i just select it okay and then you can see everything is now big okay now i go back and then you can see the text of the icons are bigger and if i go to settings or the text you can see it is quite big now so it's up to, uh, up to you whichever size you want the next tip is related to the clipboard function uh, so guys for example uh, you are using um, uh, some website okay and you like some text from a website for example i like this text okay i just want to copy it okay i just copy it i just select it now i just copy now it is copied to clipboard okay now what you can do is for example uh, you are using uh, some other app let's say you open the samsung notes okay and uh, for example uh, i want to make a new note okay i just open a new note now i want to copy i want to paste that specific text okay what i can do is i just take out the edge panel from side okay i just scroll it and then i will uh, go to the clipboard option so you can see over here that's the text that i just copy this is the text okay i just uh, drag it and then i simply put into my samsung notes okay so you can see over here so you can see now i can easily drag out this text okay and uh, the other option is you can also use this option uh, for um, any kind of image for example if you want to copy some image okay and so again for example i go to this um, uh, site okay and then for example i like some image for example i like this image okay i just copy image okay it is again copy to clipboard okay now simply i go back to uh, my samsung notes okay just drag out okay the image is over here i simply drag it and i put into my samsung notes like that okay so you can see over here my text and my image is over here uh, so this is really really important feature the next step is related to using of split screen so guys you can use all apps in the split screen mode so for example uh, if you want to uh, use for example uh, i will open my files okay and then uh, just close it and then what you can do just go to the recent button okay my files is over here just select it from the uh, from the menu just open the menu and then you will see the option of open in split screen view so just select it okay and once you select it you can see your my files is over here and the rest of the apps is over here now you can open other apps as well in the split screen as well for example you want to open the galaxy store okay so you can see over here uh, the my files is over here and galaxy store is over here you can use both of these together okay the other option is by using the edge panel you can also use the edge panel okay and then you can also drag out any kind of uh, app for example if you want to open the google as well so i just drag it out and then you can open it in a pop-up view in the middle you can see over here i just put it like this and then it will open in the middle so this is how you can use the split screen the last tip is related uh, to the galaxy store so always uh, uh, update uh, your all apps okay so for your apps to update just go to the galaxy store okay and then select this menu option from here okay and then you see the updates available over here so just select it okay so you can see there are different updates available related to your samsung tablet so these all updates are from uh, samsung so just select this update all option so your app uh, your tablet will work smoothly and every app will function properly so always keep up to date with your tablet so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys Thank you very much.